In continuing the policy of putting self before nation, the IOA remained obstinate by not complying with the International Olympic Committee's directives and keeping India's return to the Olympic fold further hanging in balance. The IOA stuck to its guns on letting charge-sheeted persons contest elections for IOA positions. India's athletes doing the nation proud, breaking the barriers to bring glory to the country. These glorious moments hijacked by India's Olympic bosses. In a flagrant show of putting their egos before the country's interest. Despite facing a deadline of October 31st to comply with IOC's diktat, IOA bosses remaining shamelessly adamant. Well, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's a little messy, but uh, as long as a resolution is reached, uh, urgently uh, I, th I think uh, what what all of us do want is a is a quick resolution the IOC had talked tough and set a final deadline of October 31st to adopt the clause on tainted officials or face severe action the IOA remaining defiant forcing the sporting community to come out and slam the Indian Olympic body it's very frustrating, first and you know, foremost, because, uh, I mean, to what extent people can go to hold on to their seats in power? It's really so sad. The only way out now for India is to form an ad hoc committee. Until unless we form an ad hoc committee, this is not going to straighten out. The sports ministry also keeping a close watch, demanding a quick resolution and asking them to get their house in order. These athletes have brought glory to the country. The officials bring shame and with India's Olympic exile to continue. How long must the country suffer due to the high-handedness of the IOA? Sports Bureau, Times Now.